Hey, welcome everybody. Today I'm going to do a video on how to align your door. Everybody shows you the obvious one, you know, about aligning your door, you know, up and down. I mean, we all know that, right? I don't need any help with that. What no one could tell me was how to align my door with the front cowl. You know, my cowl sits proud of where my door is and there's no way to move that inside or out. So today we're gonna solve that. Okay, so the pivot of your door or how far it sits in and out has to do with this area right here. If you bend this in, the door is gonna sit deeper. If you bend it back, the door is gonna sit shallower. So in a sense, you look at that, that's almost a 90 degrees. My door sits a little too far in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend this back a little bit, not much, because a little bit moves it a lot. So I'll probably move it about that much, which will bring it forward a little in order to have that sitting straight. So you can see this area here when I move this forward, moves the door in and out. So to move the door out, push this that way. To move the door in, you push this this way. And what I've done to make this easier is I've cut a little groove right here. I don't know, halfway, maybe a third of the way through that hinge. So right now I'm gonna take, I have some, um, a big crescent wrench here. In order to move that again, to pull the door out, I'm gonna push the crescent wrench that way towards the passenger door. And I mean, I only need to move it maybe an eighth of an inch, so. Let me put a little bit of pressure on it. Okay. So I move that that way. If I pull that up, it's not quite flat. I need to move it from here to, I don't know, just maybe eighth of an inch in. Just eighth of an inch that way. So you can see where this is right now compared with that. So I'm going to bend it and we'll come back and look at it. Okay. So I took and I bent the hinge back that way. And if I square it up like that, it brings my hinge and you can just see from here, like every, it's about that much, which I don't know, I'll have to try the door back on. It might be a little too much. It sure doesn't take much to do it. But again, I did take and cut a little bit of a slot in there to make it easier to bend it. And I can try it on and off without it, you know, bending. So you don't want to cut it too deep. Otherwise it'll just be flip flopping around. You'll never know, you'll never have it set. So, all right, next thing is I'm gonna take my door and put it on and we're gonna see how it sets. Okay, so now I've put the door back on and my gap seems pretty good here. I'm going to just look and see how my in and out is. It's pretty good. So now my door is adjusted in and out. I hope this all made sense to you guys. I mean, I know... Like I said in the beginning, everybody shows you, you know, how to tilt your door. And I mean, that's the obvious. It's the in and out that was killing me. So good luck. Let me know how it worked out for you. Bye. And don't forget to re-weld that hinge when you're done.